Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced from alexmerced.com and this is uh, my new podcast on podcasting tips and tricks. The purpose of this podcast is just to discuss many of the questions that potential podcast hosts have in each episode. We're going to just kind of tackle one thing. Once we kind of get all the different issues with sort of recording a podcast, hosting a podcast, uh, we'll also talk about tips on promoting a podcast and using social media to promote your podcast. Basically, the goal is to make this podcast a resource for potential podcasters. We'll give you tips on how the podcast on a budget and what resources may be good if you decide you want to invest some money into the podcasting quality. Okay, so this first episode, what we're going to do is we're going to focus on hosting. So basically, the idea is you want to do a podcast. And the goal is you're going to have to create audio or video clips and you have to have a website that actually delivers the podcast within a readable feed. Okay, so essentially what's going to happen is that places like iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, the way that they're going to know that your podcast is there and when new episodes are there is because of the feed from your website. Now, you could pay someone else to host your podcast, which have certain pros and cons to it. One, you don't have to worry about... Um, space you don't have to pay for host website hosting but you will be paying for the podcast hosting um with certain limitations and if one day you decide to stop paying for it your episodes may disappear or something like that but again if you don't mind paying a minimal amount it could be an easier way to go sometimes they have better features for keeping track of your stats and other cool benefits to make podcasting much easier or what you can do is you can start your own website, get your own separate hosting, and just kind of manage your podcast yourself, and there's some pros and cons to that. So I'm going to talk about mainly two ways, those two ways, but when it comes to getting your podcast hosted, there's a couple of different services out there. The one that I'm most familiar with is Buzzsprout. So the two main ones um, out there are podbean.com, which I don't use. So I can't say much about it. And then there's Buzzsprout, which I do use for my main podcast, the Alex Merced cast. And I'm actually a big fan of Buzzsprout. It's pretty cool. Um, You can actually, there's actually a free program and you can create as many podcasts as you want for free. The only catch is that the free level, the podcast episodes only stay on there for 90 days. So after 90 days, the episodes delete themselves. So if you wanted to have people, if you want to make sure that people can go access those old episodes, beyond 90 days then you got to get a paid membership with which costs um at the base level 12 dollars a month and you're able to upload up to three hours worth of audio every month for 12 dollars a month and it keeps track of your stats so it can keep track of how many listens you have per episode uh it tries to estimate what's your listener base and also even walks you through how to get your podcast on things like itunes stitcher and google play which we'll talk about at a, at a separate episode and it's really simple. Basically, all you have to do is you you make your MP3 or whatever type of audio recording that you make. You just upload it, fill in the title, fill in the description, put in some tags, and set a date for when it goes live, and your episode's set to go. So Buzzsprout makes it really easy to run a podcast, especially for someone who has no sort of web design experience. But if you have some web design experience, that means you've probably worked with a with a with WordPress. And I do, and I, and this is actually the way I'm going to be using to host this particular podcast that you're listening to now. So if you down, so what you could do is you get web hosting, you install WordPress, which is a content management system which you can use to create websites, and you create a a WordPress website. But the cool thing about WordPress, it has plugins that add features to your WordPress install, and there's one plugin called Simply Serious Podcasting. And the cool thing about Simply Serious Podcasting is that it allows you to create as many different podcasts as you want. So basically, you don't have to pay whatever you have to pay for the hosting, and you can start as many podcasts as you want because the plugin allows you to set up different shows and keep track of different feeds and has some ability to keep see some stats. But this is require you to get, to get used to using WordPress and creating a full-on website if you want to... And if you wanted to do that, the, the web host that I recommend is Bluehost. And if you use a link, you can get a very good deal uh, on, on your 
Bluehost hosting. And if you were to go that route, you probably you're, you'll be paying less per month than you would if you just got the hosting for one podcast on Buzzsprout. But again, it's not going to be necessarily as convenient in the beginning as you get the website set up. Okay, although feel free to reach out if you'd like help with that. Um, we can work. We can talk about it. I'm more than glad to help. So, but you can get a deal and some awesome offers if you go to libertydeal.info. That's libertydeal.info, where basically there you can find a link to Bluehost so that we can get the cheapest price on Bluehost by going to libertydeal.info. And then you can get the cheapest deal on Bluehost. And if you do it through that link at libertydeal.info, you also get special benefits as having your website listed on the website, which will help your search engine optimization and a couple other cool special deals if you use that link all detailed over there at libertydeal.info. And then two, if you decide you want to use Buzzsprout and have Buzzsprout host the podcast for you, once again, go to libertydeal.info. There's a link there that if you click that link and you decide to pay for hosting through buzzsprout.com, you'll get a $20 Amazon gift certificate. And on top of that, because you use the link, I'll throw in some extra benefits such as listing your podcast over there at libertydeal.info, which again, helps your search engine optimization, plus a couple of other benefits. So definitely check that out. So again, thank you for listening to this podcast. We're talking about podcasting, vlogging. Now, if you're just going to start a vlog and you're not necessarily interested in podcasting, or even if you do both, what you can do is you can, if you do video, put it on YouTube. Although, if you do decide to put video on YouTube, which is free, what I recommend is that you take the video once you have it on YouTube and use different websites that convert YouTube videos to MP3s, and then once again, put it up as a podcast, um, either through Buzzsprout or through using WordPress, etc. So again, this episode, we focus mainly on what do you need to do to host your podcast, so that way you can at least get the that part out of the way. In future episodes, again, we're going to talk about recording podcasts and vlogs, we're going to talk about how to monetize them and make some money by doing podcasting and blogging. We're going to talk about how to uh, promote your podcast or vlog and how to use social media to get the, to build up your audience and techniques for finding, creating good content and finding sort of a niche for your podcast. So thank you guys for listening. And if you enjoyed this, please share it with a friend. If you know anybody who's interested in podcasting, subscribe to this podcast on iTunes, Google Play, and Stitcher so that way you don't miss future episodes. And again, go to libertydeal.info so that way you can get good deals on podcast hosting and website hosting and plus other offers over there at libertydeal.info. My name is Alex Merced from alexmerced.com and thank you very much.